we started the band, we had a couple guys that had left the band when we were living in Oregon, and they took the name we had with them, which was the Prairie Mutts. The what? <laughs> the Prairie Mutts. <laughs> uh, prairie Mutt? Oh, it's like a prairie dog, but, but a mutt. I don't know. It's, it was a terrible name. We're glad <laughs> to be rid of it. And we needed a new name, so we sat around. We were like, what would be a cool name? We had a list on a yellow notepad and a bunch of different names. and We had about two weeks to come up with a name. And I thought Reckless Kelly was a pretty cool thing, and I think I had him confused with uh, Machine Gun Kelly, because I thought he was a gangster, didn't really know anything about him, we just thought it was a cool name. Named the band that, and several posters and gigs later, somebody told us that he was an Australian outlaw, so we still thought it was cool, so we stuck with it. <laughs> Yeah, named after an outlaw, Ned Kelly, an Australian outlaw, no less. It was a kind of a crazy character, the, as the legend goes, anyway. The way I always heard it was a kind of a steal from the rich, give to the poor type outlaw. Would wear like a bucket on his head for armor with the holes cut out. And our record cover for B Bulletproof has a kind of an artist's rendition of Ned Kelly. It's, it's, it's a little bit, you know, with the big six shooters and everything. It's, it's pretty cool. But really interesting story, you know, he got shot 28 times and they still hung him. You know, I mean, after we had the name for a long time, it, we kind of fit the band too with the style of music we're playing that's kind of outside the box and the outlaw thing, you know, it really kind of worked for us. So.